Robert, thanks very much. Um, I'm Sam Cockrell, Chief Executive of Libertine. Uh, I formed Libertine in 2009 to develop and commercialize free piston technology. Now, before I tell you uh, what I mean by that, let me explain the opportunity. Power generation wastes more energy than it delivers uh, by a factor of two or three to one. And this problem is greater for smaller generation because small generators using today's technology are just not that efficient. Plus, the recovery of waste heat, technology for recovering waste heat, is not cost effective at the small scale. What we aim to do is to produce cost effective technology for better waste heat recovery and more efficient power generation. And here's how. This is our, an example of our innovation. Um, we have a, uh, a stretched free piston, uh, and I'll explain this in a moment. Uh, a stretched free piston built into a linear power generator inside uh, a, an extrusion construction. The example I've shown here is uh, our linear expander built into an internal combustion generator, a two-stroke power generator with combustion on either end. Um, and if I can get a laser pointer here, there we are. This is the piston in the middle. Uh, this is shuttling backwards and forwards, and as it moves between these stripy bits, the electrical generators, it produces electrical power. Uh, and that's basically it. The key is the electrical power generation is linear, and it's very efficient. Now, whereas most of the power generation technologies that are uh, represented on the previous slide uh, are like this, like they're recovering work from a gas, um, what we're doing is more efficient. It's Generally speaking, pistons are more efficient than turbines at recovering uh, work from gases. Um, the trouble is, pistons that are connected to a crankshaft are not very efficient in terms of uh, losing waste heat, and they have a lot of uh, frictional losses. What we're doing is eliminating that waste heat and eliminating the frictional losses, and at the same time, we're giving ourselves more flexibility to move the piston and recover heat in a much more efficient way. <laughs> Now, there are a lot of applications for this free piston expander. Um, one of the applications, which I mentioned, is uh, an internal combustion engine generator. Ricardo did some feasibility work for us last year, um, and they agree this concept has the potential to dramatically increase the efficiency of internal combustion power generation. Uh, they also agree that our technology looks sound. There are no showstopper technical risks, which is nice. Uh, we have a strong founding team. All of our founders are engineers. Uh, my background is in new product development, uh, business development, strategy consulting. Our chairman used to be a main board director at Greco, uh, and he has a strong track record in building uh, high-growth technology businesses. What we've done since startup uh, is we've raised over half a million pounds. Uh, we've applied that funding to get strong, independent, technical validation of our, uh, of our concept uh, from recognized and credible uh, technology partners. Uh, we've built, uh, we are in the process of building uh, test rig hardware, uh, and we've built a very robust IP portfolio to protect our innovations. We've also had a very good market feedback so far, so we've got very um, uh, useful letters of support, and we also uh, more usefully have our first uh, commercial technical development contract that will generate reven revenues for us this year. The potential market for our linear expander is huge. In fact, any application where work is taken out of a gas and put into electrical power, or taken from electrical power and put into a gas, any application that does that is potentially uh, a market for us. So in the long term, that could include uh, automotive internal combustion, which I've talked about. It could include domestic combined heat and power. could include air conditioning. could include heat pumps and so on. Uh, this is potentially a vast market. But the most investable markets are actually those that offer something more near term with a higher unit value and with a long, high-volume tail. So three examples I've shown here, mobile and off-grid power. A near-term example would be small portable power for military applications, very high unit value. The high-volume the high tail is the fact that globally there are about 1.6 billion people who don't currently have uh, a grid connection. In biogas, there are 10,000 biogas sites or thereabouts in Europe at the moment, and strong market incentives, regulatory incentives, uh, to produce more power from the, uh, from the biogas resource. Globally, there are already 30 or 40 million small biogas production units, uh, which could, in theory, produce electricity as well as producing power. And the nearest term opportunity is waste heat recovery. Today, there is a small but vi viable market for organic Rankine cycle waste heat recovery, which we can piggyback on and improve. 
Globally, the market for waste heat recovery is 50 billion pounds. Uh, we're looking for uh, route to market partners and further funding to help us accelerate this opportunity. Thanks very much. Thank you.